What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Chainsaw Man. Today we are here for season one, episode two. Last week I did wear the girl who I didn't know shirt from the opening, who a lot of people were hyping her up in the comments and saying you liked the shirt. So thank you. Today I did have to rock a Denji Classic one. So you guys can see the full, full reveal of the shirt. A. Hey, you guys know me. When it comes to a show, I know I'm gonna like already. Gotta buy merch, gotta support, gotta do this, that, and the other, gotta look fly. Um when it comes to Chainsaw Man, talk about a start. Mappa is killing it. I'm loving how dark, depressing, but also somewhat subverting of your uh, shonen tropes the, the first episode was. Like, our character actually died. I'm not going to get into it, though, just because we got so much stuff coming in the season. Every episode is going to have a different ending. All that jazz. If you guys are excited as I am, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in that comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that notification bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon if you guys want the full uncut versions of these episodes as well as early access. Um, let's hop right on into it. Chainsaw Man, episode two. This one is called Arrival in Tokyo. Let's do it. Yes, please give me lore. Give me devil settings and story. It doesn't even have a name for what happened between them. The fusion. Not in sentimental, he's actually. Shouts out Pochita, shouts out Makima. He man, my man is really low on blood. You got your udon right there? What a sausage. Looks mighty delicious. Whoa. Is there a type of guy you like? The Denji type. That's gonna make my man, woo. Dude, that's me. He said, wait, are you serious? <laughs> I feel like my man is going through what we, my, me and my fellow weebs would go through if we were in like an anime actually, you know. <laughs> it had a very attractive waifu helping us around, you know. She's telling you stuff that's very vital and pivotal to your job. <laughs> and you're still thinking about getting together with her. I feel it, man. I feel it. You want to get together. That's probably the most realistic main character teenage goal we've had. I just want to hack and I just want to be with a woman before I die, you know. This on the right from all the comment Aki Hayakawa. Okay. Oh, I believe it. I believe we're gonna see some crazy shit. Everyone in the comments when it came to the opening, when it came just outside the show, has been hyping him up like crazy. Aki Hayakawa. Talk about a little motivation. You tie his tie. Tell him if he does a good job, you might get to see me again. That's all a young little Denji needs. I'm not saying she's manipulating him, but she knows how to she knows how to work Denji a little bit. Make him try just a little bit extra harder. I thought he was gonna say, come over here, I got a fucking curse I gotta show you or a devil we gotta kill, but he really is tired of Denji shit already. I wonder if he's trying to do that for his sake. I'm trying to be nice here. Like, he's like, you're just not... Yeah. So, even though he's tough love, he's doing it for his sake, you know? Based off what Denji was, was saying, you know, I can get where Aki's coming from. I can't lie, he doesn't, he's doing this for Denji and himself, he doesn't want to go through seeing someone else new just die for literally no reason, again. But that was disrespectful. The way they did the clinging bell sound, that's how you know right in the fucking nuts. It's nuts or nothing, oh my i would pull out that sword and kill denji right now this show would be over bro there's no way you're kicking me in the nuts four times he said i just tasted life for the first time today man a sausage too you think i'm leaving this shit behind to go back to bread with no jelly he is agreeing with you Aki. i really didn't think it through like you said i don't care if it kills me if i get to i love i love that perspective you know you don't know how shitty of a life we had before this and it's true, it's not just his life. He's looking after two. And now they're going straight at it. 
I mean, I think he more... Bro, when he says nuts or nothing, he is not joking. <laughs> Talk about an excuse taking your fucking senior back. He's all knocked out. His nuts got attacked by the nut devil. I cannot. This dude is so fucking funny. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot. I love when people have these sort of relationships because you know they're only going to grow from here. Like, I get Nanami and Yuji vibes from uh, from uh, JJK. Nanami, like, fucks with Yuji at the end, you know? He's like, I don't know what was serious like that. It's like what she said, you can't say no. I was just about to say something along those lines. Like, that's what he's saying. Our... I, can f I can already tell. I don't mean to pause it. I can already tell this is going to be completely morally gray. Because, yes, Makima is somewhat treating him heavenly, the best she's ever been treated. But she's also treating him horribly, saying, hey, if you even say no, you try to run off. You don't do what your job is right now like a dog. We will put you down and kill you. So it's it's completely morally ambiguous because of his situation. I know I just related it to JJK a second ago. I'm only using when I relate shows to other shows. It's because I'm relating to what I find and what I love about those shows. But I get that uh, Yuji vibe as well from Denji that he is not only one of humankind's biggest allies, but also one of their biggest threats as well. And so with the JJK vibes, that like, I personally have a theory that at JJK, like Yuji might not make it he might die you know like don't spoil anything but i'm just saying like this could be one of those dark shows where it's a uh, subversion on your expectations and denji doesn't make it till the end and he does die at the end of the, like i don't know you know like a lot of animes have like happy endings yeah, i don't know you guys know what i'm trying to say like this is gonna be a gray anime i can't wait to get all their backstories i can't wait to get makima aki He's like, wait, you got the hugger? <laughs> you never had to try jam before, so he's trying it all. <laughs> all on one, though? You're supposed to, like, and cinnamon? Shout out to you. You made the biggest mess in the world, though. I would be... This guy has never had to live with someone else in his life. Oh my god, I would be livid. Really? Okay, like the zombie one looked like a zombie. The tomato one looked like a tomato. So is this one going to be used specific as well? Okay, that is weird. It looks like an insect, like a beetle. Denji's like, I didn't even need to transform into a chainsaw, man. I just got to fucking chop his head off. I mean, you were sadistically laughing like crazy, chainsawing everyone else last episode, you know? I get that empathy. I don't want to pause it again because I feel for Aki so much, so much. But I, I can't not relate it to other shows. I know you guys are mad when I do that, but look at Demon Slayer again. You know, like everyone has this predispositions towards uh, demons, and I completely understand. But then you look at Nezuko, who is that one-off exception, who then every, like not everyone, but people are slowly starting to change their minds about this. And so when it comes to like Yuji, who's part curse, who's like a Sakuna, relating and feeling empathetic for other curses, trying to protect like their brothers and their friends, and then when it comes to Denji uh, being empathetic towards other devils who somewhat share a similar path like him, I, I it's it's I can tell, man, this is only going to get more deep, more gray, and I'm here for it. Like Aki, and he, what are you saying about the cops? Like these cops are he's drank with, them, he's homies with them. You know, they are literally risking their lives to fight these things that are. But I don't know, man. It's hard generalizing everything, even when it's evil. Kind of like Giyu. 
Gyu and uh, Tanjiro, you know? And there's such a, even though they're telling, it's such a show don't tell. Like they're slowly giving Aki pieces of Denji's personality and story by saying, what, didn't you go to school? He's like, no. He's like, would you make friends with these if you could? Yeah, because I don't have any friends. You know, like he's slowly getting, he's like, wow, this guy's life is kind of fucked up. Okay, you, I was just defending you, Denji. Come on. Now you're making me look bad. Now you're trying to look at titties. I mean, are the titties nice at least? Porn secure. Yup. That's, that's the life, according to Denji. A 10 out of 10, exactly. I get what you're saying. Trying to find your purpose? What is Makima's purpose? I need to know her backstory. Is this going to be our new life motivation? That's the opposite of what he meant. I mean, yes, it's always good to have a tangible ambition to drive you forward and realize. But, okay. Okay. I'm assuming based off the opening, it's going to be the girl with the devil. Horns. Two-person teams. Yes. Yes. Everyone was hyping her up as well. I have a t-shirt of her. I got to rock her next uh, next week. She's a fiend as well? Oh, the eye designs are so cool. Is that why the opening says power when she comes on screen? Is that actually her name? She also has boobs? <laughs> That's all he needed. <laughs> He's like, yes. <laughs> I hate this dude. It's a real life question right there. Something tells me that's not the full case. He yawns. Yeah, something tells me you're just funny. She can smell a, a devil in the air. The scent of blood. Just specifically, I'm curious if that's human or devil blood. It's the sea cucumber devil with fingers coming out of it. She uses a wound and her blood as a weapon. I I did see power. I do like her powers a lot. The whole wrist new ending, the whole wrist blood hammer. Even though this was still set up episode, we're still getting into learning this world where we're supposed to be so we can build our daily routine, stuff like that. It, it was paced incredibly well. I love how they're able to, like I said, show not tell, but it still is technically telling. It's just in a way that they don't need to directly tell you. Like it's, it could have been like a way in which Denji is telling Aki, hey, I grew up this way. I didn't go to school. I didn't have any friends. And that would have told us all the info we need to know. But I love the subtle ways like and I relate it to Nanami and Yuji because I love Nanami so much and his like heart on the outside. But he's such a softy on the inside mentality. So I, I'm assuming Aki's the same way because he seems like a nice ass dude. But obviously he's rock solid on the outside. He puts up those walls because his entire family was murdered right in front of him. Like, that's like a dark ass story. And I, under I completely understand that. But um I, I love how like like i said the little details where he's like didn't she go to school he's like no and he's like would you make friends with him? he's like yeah i could if i if it would mean i would have some friends you know it's like those little details where you can tell and with the situation and with denji's because he's never he's the only situation of this kind where if he refuses once he's gonna be put down and if he's not fully dedicated he's not you know and he said to aki this is heaven for me this is the best life i've ever lived up until this point and aki's like what this man's eating bread with jelly and he's considered as heaven. Like, it's like, so it's like Aki is starting to put the pieces together of how horrible of a life that he had before this. And I need to know Power's background, backstory, Makima, Aki, Denji's even more. I need to know more about his dad. I need to see Pochita again. I miss her so much. I'm thoroughly glad that we joined Aki's team. He seems like a real, I think I, I can already tell I'm going to love his character Power as well. Um, we got some we got a new life goal touch boobs as to how we're gonna touch the boobs who knows but that's our new power it's our new goal um i love the nut or nothing <laughs> if you're going if you're fighting a dude it's nuts or nothing 
hilarious. But like I said, I can tell this is set up, but the pacing is still there. It's still fantastic. Um, I can tell, like, next episode or the episode after that, we're going to get right on into it. Oh, that shot of power at the end with her power. Oh, I can't, her name is Power, but she has cool powers. Oh. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell, all that jazz. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions of this episode. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell somebody you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.